welcome to another video. In today's video, we are living in the strangest paradigm. What's going on in Russia? Okay, so let's just give some, the uh, you know, get you, catch you up to speed here, what's going on, right? Okay, so the Putin regime is a fascist regime, okay? They've crushed Russia's democracy with fascism, okay? So now the fascist Putin regime is attacking Ukraine to denazify it, okay? Now, <clears throat> I've seen some reels, footage, news footage of what the fascist Putin regime was talking about, okay? And there was, I would venture to say, like everybody involved in that is probably dead now because like everybody in the Ukrainian military that was in the Ukrainian military, like 99 or some high percent, if they were in the military when Russia attacked, all those people are already dead. Very few are still alive from the original Ukrainian military, right? Like a tiny percent, okay? So what was going on there in Ukraine, and, and this is a quote from one of the interviewees, these white supremacists, right? And, and this dude was like, yeah, man, this is the greatest thing since like the 20s in Germany, yada, yada, yada. So there was a lot of serious white supremacists doing little white supremacist things, okay? And that's fascism. They are fascists. Okay, so now you have fascists attacking the whole country when there's just some, okay? And for the record, there's fascists and neo-Nazis in a lot of countries, okay? Including this one. All right, so now you have and Jimmy Dore, years, two years ago, posted a video of Ukrainian neo-Nazis talking about how they just love war, how they just love fighting and killing and all this stuff. It's like, that's their fun. That's their entertainment. As fascists, they like to kill people, torture people, beat people up. This is their thing. They're fascists, okay? So now we have, before this whole Purgosian thing that's like today and yesterday, before that we had other groups of Russians attacking, and I think they actually hold a foothold in Russia. Okay, now those guys specifically, uh, the gray zone track down some of those people that, and like these types of guys are types of guys that like uh, the Christ sh uh, church shooting, like uh, they were in favor of that, some of these guys. I mean, they, they went through and they had like a half dozen of these guys that are fascists. Okay, so we have Putin, the fascist regime, attacking the fascists in Ukraine, and then other fascists go to attack Russia. Uh, okay, but it doesn't stop there. Now you have the Wagner Group. Now, if you're not familiar with the Wagner Group, it's actually the Wagner Group. And Wagner, it's named Wagner because the head of the Wagner Group named it after, wait for it, Hitler's favorite M music dude, composer, whatever, right? So now we have yet another group of fascists that they just got called off, but they were, they took over a city or two on their way to Moscow. Does anybody else see the pattern that I'm seeing? It's a specific ideology an ideology that sees killing and 
torturing and war and all this as the solution and how they're going to get things done. Okay, a lot of this is coming from <laughs> their, their biggest mistake is allowing is to train your military and then let your military train your military with tax dollars and then let your military trained people go do military work for private companies. That is what Russia is suffering right now, okay? And what we need to heed as a big warning that these private military organizations, mostly fascist, aren't a good idea. Okay, our tax dollars pay to train people to do all this stuff in the military and then they quit the military and then they go work for private companies and make private companies wealthy. All right, so it's bad. Now, back to the whole fascist versus fascist, socialist leaning people laughing at the reality, crying at the sadness of all the environmental damage, all the innocent people being killed, it's a nightmare. But still, you have to look at it and just realize that it's the fascist mentality. They just want to fight and kill, they don't give a shit. Once there's no socialists around, they'll just start fighting each other, okay? We need to take heed on this country and what's going on in this country with this cult that we have in this country that has the same mentality as any one of those fascist groups that are all just fighting each other over there, okay? They want to bring that lifestyle to us, all right? I'm not down with that, okay? I have solutions for problems that don't involve killing people or putting people in cages, which is, the only solutions that the fascists have, but they add torture and murder to their, oh, I already said killing. Yeah. So, right? We need to reject fascism and all its forms in this country like we did in World War II, at least a majority of the country did. There was still the people that were financing Hitler, namely Prescott Bush, okay? So yeah, that's a whole nother video. We'll go down that road, subscribe for that one. But this video is mainly just pointing out that you can't just, fascism is a wasted ideology. It hasn't lasted anywhere in the world. It just goes into a country, destroys a country, destroys the social bonds of a country. You know, uh, South America just ravaged by US backed, fascism is still recuperating, okay? They still have trauma from the fascists running around their country, kidnapping, torturing, and murdering people, okay? And if we don't want this same reality for our beautiful country, we need to wake up the cult members, okay? And a lot of them reside in the law enforcement which is the most dangerous thing we can have is ideology driven, low IQ people with guns. Ah, run, they're crazy AF. So we need to reject fascism. Look what it does. It's just tearing that part of the world up. It's fascist versus fascist versus fascist versus fascist. It's quite, I mean, this is literally the strangest paradigm. It's so mind blowing, I can't even believe I'm witnessing this. So it's pretty obvious to me, there's people who think that killing and cages and murder and all this stuff is a solution. They're called fascists and we need not pay attention to them. We have the technology to have a nice peaceful world Okay, but we just have this infected sore of murderers who just want to murder because it's fun. Like, ah, okay, anyway, subscribe, peace. Thank you for